In this tutorial video, we are going to recreate this dynamic testimonial section using Advanced Custom Fields plugin with the Repeater field. Then we will design visually within the Bricks Builder to display at the front end in this amazing interactive glowing card. Within your WordPress dashboard, I have already created this custom post type with a CF plugin, which I called Testimonials. So head over to ACF Field Groups, click to add the field group. I call it Testimonials Details, but you can call whatever you want. And I now configure the repeater fields by having first my repeater field. So select it, call it content, press the, the tab key from your keyboard inside my repeater field. Add field and the first one would be client name and I will be using the text field. So I call it as a field label client name, press the tab key, close the field and the next one would be the client position. So it would be a text type client position. The next one would be the client company, it be a text field type. The next one I will use the image type and I call it client image. And the last one would be the rating. So click to have a new one. It would be an, a radio, select the radio button. I call it rating and now I had my choices. So each choice on a new line. And now, finally, we simply need to associate this field group. I'm going to add here content repeater. It's easier. Now I need to associate this field group with testimonial custom post type. So to do this, you will find the location roles, choose post type, which is testimonials from this drop down menu and select testimonials as the associated post type. Publish. And now we go ahead and add some testimonials to our custom post type. So go to testimonials, add a new testimonial. I need to fill in all these subfields created previously with ACF plugin. And let's add a row by clicking on this had row and I call it John Bernard and here they are and we now proceed in order to create the bricks builder template so we go to bricks builder templates I will create a section template I call it a demo section and I assign it to be a section from the right sidebar click to publish once it's done click edit with bricks inside bricks builder the very first thing I want to clarify to you is that I will use a combination of a Bricks Core add-on along with Bricks Extras add-on to build out from scratch this stunning interactive glowing card. I've been playing around with both add-ons and I assure you they offer exceptional options under the hood. In this channel, by the way, I have already created two videos on these two tools. So if you want to know more, just check the video links I will leave for you in case you are not familiar with any of them. We begin by adding a Bricks Builder section element inside the, the section. And what I want to do now is to add an interactive swap over text effect for the page title. So to achieve this, I will use now one of the Bricks Core add-on feature. It's very easy to use. So on over, the text changes and when you move the cursor away. So we can customize it as any other Bricks Builder element. Three types of to swap the title. By line, by words, by words, or by charts. This option, the from, is to determine the animation. Is one the animation comes from bottom or from top? It's his personal choice, so you, you need to decide on what you want to do. I like to be this way. 
You can turn on the skew option, let's put 6. And lastly, we have the easing field to determine the type of animation easing. And now comes the most exciting part that is to create the dynamic testimony in glowing card. With the help of a brick square loop and another Blick score element called glowing card element. So I had in another container, I want to call it testimonials container. And inside I want to put a div element and I call it testimonials card. Let's go ahead to search for glowing card. It's this one. This is to be nested. And this is a nestable item, meaning we can, in, we can put inside any content we want inside it. Now we will pull up all the ACF repeater fields. In order to accomplish, we just need to activate the brick square loop on this testimonial card. For this particular demo, I want to this option. And the very first ACF data I want to pull up is the the image so i select the glowing cards and then i will insert an image inside the image element we can select the bold icon this is for the dynamic data icon and then scroll down until within this extensive drop down list and simply select the acf content there you have it and from these options, I go with ACF content client image. Immediately, I get my three testimonials images. And next up, we will be adding the, the heading. Click on the plus icon to add another bricks element. Insert an heading inside the heading. Select the bolt to select the dynamic data. You delete this and then find and locate the ACF fields till you find the ACF content client name, this one. We can define it to be an H4, the glowing card element to be 400 like that and the black background color. And let's adjust the testimonial container to be a row with the column gap to be 10 pixels and align to the main axis so that it sits perfectly centered. And next up I will insert, I will put another heading, select the dynamic data, locate your ACF data and I want to grab this ACF content client position. I need to change the color to be white, otherwise I don't see it. And I change to be a P HTML tag with 14 pixels. I will insert now another having. You can use a basic text or a rich text but I, I am comfortable with this, so I click another heading, select the dynamic data, scroll down till you find your ACF, rip. I want to have another heading, and this time is to fetch the rating, so delete this, select the dynamic data, and I want this ACF content rating, change this to a PHTML tag, to be in white color, in a font size to be 40 pixels. All right, and now I will insert the Bricks Extras star rating element since it provides me with an easy way to display these star rating scores. It supports dynamic data, so this is ideal for using this query loop. This element is fairly simple to use. I choose and define my color, this one, and this color and the padding, they will be applied to the entire element. Checking now at the front end, it looks pretty good. This is super, super cool. And what we can do now is to show you how to set the glowing, these glowing cards border effect inside Bricks Builder and to add the image over effect inside Bricks Builder. We can increase the border, the border width to, f I went to with five pixels like this. And then you can change the, the glow to be outer or not. Color tones, and this is how it looks like. Pretty cool. And for the over effects, 
on the image element, I have added a class which I called card image. Press enter. It has been created as CSS class. And with this class being selected, I added a Bricks Builder interaction. You click on the plus icon to add a new interaction. I choose over. The action is what takes place whether, whenever the element is triggered. And I set mine to be a start animation. And then I went ahead and I choose one of these extensive lists. I want this one and the target is the element on the page. So I really hope you found this tutorial video helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Natalie. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this. And please like the video, it helps me a lot. Why not check out this next video on the screen? This video is the solution to build a Bricks Builder dynamic grid archive page only by using Bricks Builder.